Hey guys, Ethan Bale here, who had a fantastic day. Now in this video, I'm going to explain to how Facebook ads actually work and the data points and algorithmic systems behind it. Any questions, comment section, hit the subscribe button if you want, let's get into it. So um, Facebook works on a data-driven perspective. So if we look right here, for example, um, we have your Facebook ad. So your ad is right here. Now in your actual ad, there's different elements. Um, so if we say, like we think we've got the copy uh, here, the video and then the headline. So Facebook looks at the, the, the video and goes, okay, he's wearing a, I don't know, a red jumper. Let's target people who like red jumpers. Maybe people interested in uh, Tom Hilfiger, um, Ralph Lauren, uh, Gucci, whatever. They'll then look at the person. Okay, well, this is, this is a male uh, aged, you know, 18 to 30. Let's target a males in 18 to 30. This guy is wearing a Callaway cap. Let's target people who play golf. This guy, sorry, this uh, woman is in the gym. Maybe they'd be a huge fan of like weightlifting, going to the gym, etc. Now you see how there's so many data points in terms of an actual ad that Facebook uses to target people. Now it, it's allowed to do this if you leave it on broad. If you do this on broad, Facebook is free roam. If you go interests, your issue is, is that Facebook can't do this and like say on broad, for example, say you're US, okay, say you've got like, say 250 million, right? So 250 million and Facebook can use all these data points. If you go on interest, you're probably gonna down that to about 10 million. So you see how you're heavily restricting date, uh, Facebook in terms of people. Like Facebook will have an easier time finding people who match this, one of these categories in a 250 million audience than they would in a 10 million audience. That's why broad is 10 times more effective, but anyway, so one thing that people tend to forget, okay, is Facebook's a machine. This is data points, Facebook's a machine. Now for a machine to work effectively, it needs minimal input, meaning DCTs, set an ad to broad, automatic placements, you know, male, female, 18, 65 plus, that's it. Barely change anything, let Facebook do it all. Now humans need to obviously let this machine do its job and obviously make the decision. By doing that, you do broad, not interest. So, you know, same with Facebook ads. Don't restrict your targeting or placement. So don't be having interest. Don't be going, okay, well, we're only going to show feed, etc. Let Facebook do its job. Literally input as minimal as, as, as possible. Only add ads. Broad, country. So broad, so country, age, gender, um, etc. No interests. The machine is good tools to work with. So, all, so you know, we feed good ads, in, which are the tools, into Facebook, which is the machine, for the machine to work well. So basically the outcome of this video is what, that's why Broad's effective because it has larger audience, easy to find people, target through the creatives based off what's actually going on in the creative and don't be doing interest, restricting people, you know, doing like mail, unless it's like legally you have to, like say it's an insurance for like old people, 65 plus you have to, but don't be just basically um, restricting Facebook, just set everything to Broad. The only input you want is the creatives, let's do a DCT, let Facebook do its job, really that simple. Any questions, comment section below, hit the subscribe button if you want. And if you want me to turn your ads, look in the description below where it says, have Ethan Bailey about my Facebook ads. Click that link there, share a very, very quick 10, 15 minutes out of me, and we'll just assess if you're a good fit to work with us. But I have him, hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one.